my YouTube channel. Today we are working on programming challenge 20 in chapter 7 of the book Starting Out with Java. And this programming challenge is to check whether a two-dimensional array is a magic square or not. Um, a magic uh, a square is, an, is a square that uh, the rows and the columns as well as di the diagonals add up to the same number. In our case, the, there is um, this square. Um, it has uh, three rows and three columns, and all of them add up to uh, 15. The first co column uh, add up to uh, 15, uh, as well as uh, the second and third. Um, for example, if we add, if we calculate, uh, if we add up all the numbers in the, the square, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15 for the first column. The second column is 9 plus 5, 5 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15. The third column is 2 plus 7 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, as well as the rows. Uh, 4 plus 9 is uh, 13, 13 plus 2 is 15. Uh, the second row, uh, 3 plus uh, 5 is 8, 8 plus 7 is 15. And the third row, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. As well as the diagonals, uh, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. Uh, and lastly, the second diagonal, uh, 8 plus 5 is, is, is uh, 13, 13 plus 2 is 15. So let's uh, create uh, the program to check a, a given two-dimensional array is a low shoe uh, magic number. The programming challenge uh, is called low shoe magic square. So you will say um, we will create a main method, and uh, I based uh, the, the same array or the same square that we that we saw the picture of this and this is the same thing it has the same numbers but in this form it is in a two dimensional array so we will create a a method a boolean method to check whether a two dimensional array is a, a magic square or not static uh, boolean is magic square we will create um, a first total we will start with zero second total uh, zero and third total zero then we will um, we will iterate all the all the elements in the the two D array. We'll say a row equals zero, row equal array dot length, and the row is incremented by one each time. Then we have to um, go through each number in the column in each column, right? It has three columns, so we have to go through the 4, the 7, and the 8 for the first column, and the second column, 9, 5, 1, and the third column, 2, 7, and 6. Then we have to add to either the first total, second to total, or third total. So to get um, the first column, we will say array of row a zero, a zero. As you know, uh, computers start uh, counting from zero. So this column would be zero, this column would be one, and this column would be two. So if we want to uh, calculate the total of the first column, we have to say um, the zero index. This is the rows uh, counter, this is the column counter. So we just copy 
two more times and we'll say a second column and the second column is one and we'll say third uh, column the third column is two there is a uh, the computer is always one behind in terms of the indexes so these uh, three variables will go through each number in the in the column uh, in all the columns so what we want is to add to the total of the variables we'll say first uh, total plus equal first column second uh, column plus equal to the second column uh, is it second total second column third uh, total uh, plus equal to third third column so it will go through uh, each item in the in the column and it will add it will add up to the totals of all the three columns <clears throat> and then <coughs> after the loop ends what we want to to do is to return true only if all these add up to 15 otherwise it will return false which means that is not a magic uh, magic square so we'll say it if the first total is equal to 15 and second total is equal to 15 and third uh, total is equal to 15 only if all three only if all three um, columns add up to uh, 15 uh, only if that is the case uh, we want to return we want to return the uh, the two day the, the, the two dimensional array as a as a magic square otherwise it's not a magic square because a lot of times what happens is one column add ups, uh, add ups to 15 and the second column uh, checks out but the third column is either not equal to 15 or above 15 so we have to catch that uh, scenario after the uh, method we want to what we want to do is we have to create if and we have to check uh, this method we'll say is magic square and we have to pass uh, this array the 2d array and if this uh, turns uh, true return is true we will say it is a magic square otherwise we will say it is not a magic square let's run the program and see if this 2d array is a magic square or not as you can see it says it's a magic number magic square let's uh, copy this and say not we'll change the name to not valid and it will change the 5 to 11 and here in the if statement instead of nums we'll say not valid so we'll run it again this should return not valid um, it's not a valid uh, it's not a magic square
So that is what they want us to do in the programming uh, challenge. So this is uh, the completion of chapter seven. So I hope uh, you guys find this whole helpful and uh, I will put, I'll post it in GitHub uh, for this uh, code so you can see and run, uh, run it uh, yourself. Uh, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.